hello traders welcome to our new weekly watch list video as we are now in 2023 and the first week is already over the market continued to bleed at the beginning of the week however the fed minutes and the jobless claim on friday helped the market to close it in the green the question on everyone's minds is how long this will last in this video we will be doing technical analysis of some major stocks such as apple microsoft along with the nasdaq and s p 500 futures overall the situation seems critical and if the market bleeds even further we may see new lows before the end of january 2023 now before we dive into the main content of this video let's take a look at this week's calendar on january 10th fed chair jerome powell will be speaking in sweden but it is unlikely to affect the market on january 12th though we will be getting more data on the consumer price index which could swing the market in either direction so it will be very interesting to watch what happens once cpi data comes out now let's start this week's watch list video with the look at nasdaq the nasdaq chart doesn't give us much confidence as the price action was range bound between 11,123 to 10,757 last week and this is the critical part if the nasdaq cannot bounce from this level it could quickly slide down to 10000 or even below that 9799 level this could happen if cpi data is worse than expected moving on to s p 500 similar to nasdaq the s p 500 spent last week of the year within a range between 3927 3799 unlike the nasdaq the s p 500 is close to its critical levels but has more support before breaking that 3500 level until the cpi data comes out the s p 500 will either stay within its current range or come down to retest its current range low at 3624 now let's take a look at the dollar as expected and mentioned in my previous video the dollar is forming a rounding bottom formation and if it probably stay like that until the cpi data is released so far we have covered futures and the dollar now let's move on to some major stocks i have selected these stocks to get an idea of what's coming next as their moves will set the tone for the upcoming earning season starting with the apple this week apple dipped below its previous low of 129 making a new low at 124.90 apple should bounce higher above 130 as it is retesting the resistance of its previous low if that happen it will stay within the range of 133 to 129 until the cpi data comes out in the worst case scenario if we get unexpected cpi data that will force apple to break below 120 and retest its nearest support at 118.80 next up is amd if you look at the volume profile of amd on the daily time frame you will notice that amd is in the pocket of low volume this indicates that the selling pressure is still high and it could push amd below 60 to retest the previous support levels between 58 to 51 amazon is very similar to apple as it is recently made a new low of around 81 amazon should consolidate at this level and make a move to 90 if the cpi data is in the market's favor in event of bad cpi data it could go as low as 80 followed by 71 cvs is currently looking strong as it is descent support level of 9123 with the earnings on the horizon cvs could use this support as a springboard to bounce to 93 to 96 range however it is worth noting that the 96 97 level might act as a strong resistance pushing cvs back down towards 90 nfes has been covered in previous videos and has been noted as having a top heavy price action that is uh, at a risk of breaking down with some so with some strong selling pressure as predicted nfes saw a selling uh, throughout the last week bringing it down to 233 there is a gap to fill between 227.52 and 219.18 which could also bring nfes down to its support level at 2218 where it may bounce 
back up to retest previous support level as a resistance microsoft is looking weak despite being at the support level don't be fooled into thinking that it will bounce back from the support level as it may not happen the hammer candlestick form on the friday is indicating that the potential reversal is very near but the outcome is heavily dependent on the cpi data in the worst case scenario microsoft could slide down to 210 where it has decent level of support moving on to nvidia nvidia is currently showing a bear flag formation but it has a potential to move to 150 154 range before breaking down to 136 breaking down scenario will always happen if cpi data is in is is not in market's favor we covered tesla in the separate video to discuss its potential for the further decline after a significant sell-off tesla is currently consolidating between the range of 110 to 115 from its current level it could either consolidate and move towards 130 150 range or it could break down below 100 retesting its nearest support at 90 so that's it for this video please keep in mind that the technical analysis presented in this video is a projection of upcoming move and could be invalidated by the upcoming economic e events it is always important to do your own research before making any trades follow me on twitter for the more stock related updates thank you for watching and see you next week